A survey was conducted by a group of students as a part of their environment awareness program in which they collected the following data regarding the number of plants in 20 houses in a locality. Find the mean number of plants per house. Which method did you use for finding the mean and why? Okay, uh, since we can see that numbers are very small, so we can apply the direct method. And direct method is a very simple method. We can use it very easily. I am just putting the information what is given in the table. Okay, we have to find the midpoints and how the midpoint is find out. We have to add the lower limit and the upper limit and divide it by 2. Here 0 plus 2 is 2. If you divide it by 2, then we will get 1. Then you can see the length is 2, so we can add it by 2. 1, then 3, then 5, then 7, then 9, then 11, then 13. Okay, number of houses which are called frequencies already given in the table, just we are putting and we have to find FIXI how 1 into 1 is 1, 3 into 2 is 6, 5 into 1 is 5. Like that, if we multiply all these, we will be getting like this. Summation FIXI, I have already added. It is 162. Therefore, the mean x bar we write it is summation fi xi by summation fi 162 divided by as it is given in the question number of houses 20. That means the total frequency is 20. So we will divide it by 20. We will get 8.1. Therefore, the number of plants per house is 8.1 next is assume mean method okay the question is consider the following distribution of daily wages of 50 workers of a factory the table is given like this 500 to 520 it is 12 520 to 540 14 542 560 to say 8 and like this we have to find the mean daily wages of the workers of the factory by using an appropriate method you can see here the numbers are little bigger so we can apply the assume mean method okay when the numbers are little bigger then we can apply the assume mean method here we make the numbers smaller so that we can operate it orally when we do multiplication addition subtraction uh, with a bigger numbers then it may consume time so if we apply this method then we can do these operations orally so i am putting all the information what is given in the table in the table that i have already prepared midpoint already i told you that we have to add the lower limit that means 500 plus 520 divided by 2 we will get 510 as we can see the length is 20 so we can increase it by 20 that means adding 20 20 to preceding one out of this uh, we can take any one as assume mean but uh, we have taken 550 as a that means assume mean we can take any one no problem and the answer will be same if we take any one of these now ey how it is xi minus a that means 510 minus 550 we will get minus 40 we are not going to write that so just i'm writing that minus 40 then minus 20 then 0 20 40 then fiey as what we have done in the previous question fixi it is fiey 12 into minus 14 minus 480 14 into minus 20 is minus 20 0 120 then 400 number of workers is 50 so total number of frequencies summation fi is 50 okay and summation fi ui is minus 240 already i have added in a paper 
therefore uh, as such we have done x bar it was summation fi xi by summation fi here it will be u bar is equal to summation fi ui by summation fi minus 240 by 50 is equal to minus 4.8 therefore I required mean is x bar equal to a plus u bar that is the formula so 550 plus this u bar already we got minus 4.8 equal to this 545.2 so the mean daily wages of the workers is rupees 545.20 step deviation method okay this is the last question that we are going to solve the question is like this the table below shows the daily expenditure of food of 25 households in the locality daily expenditure in rupees and number of households are given in this table now we have to find the mean daily expenditure on food by a suitable method When the numbers are very big then we use step deviation method although the numbers are not very big still we are going to use the step deviation method just you know how to use the step deviation method here we uh, take one more step uh, as compared to the assume mean method okay midpoints uh, already you know how to find out 100 plus 150 divided by 2 so it will be 125 then increases by 50 so we can add by 50 it will be 175 then add again 50 to with 175 you will get 225 then 275 then 325 fi's are 4512 to 2 so 4 5 12 2 2 ui as we have find in the previous question in the same way we will be finding this here we have to take one assume min so out of these five i have chosen 225 as the assume min then 125 minus 225 will be equal to minus 100 we will be using the step deviation method okay Well, we are not going to write all these. We will be writing only minus 100, minus 50, like that. Then next will be 0. fifty, Then 100. Now you see the length is. Now you see the length is 50. So we can divide it by 50, this EY divided by 50 is equal to minus 2, same for minus 50 divided by 50 is equal to minus 1. Just to show you, I have written all this but no need to write you can write only minus 2 minus 1 like that and then 0 divided by 50 will be 0 and then 1 and then 2 now you can see we can multiply fidi or le without using pen and paper 
minus 8 4 into minus 2 is equal to minus 8 we will not write we will write only minus 8 I think you understood it is minus 5 5 into minus 1 minus 5 then 0 then 2 then 4 summation f5 is 25 it is given in the question and summation f i d i is minus 7 and to find d bar as we have done in x bar it is minus 7 by 25 and it is x bar equal to a plus d into d bar into h as we have divided by h in the table so we have to multiply it by h in the formula will be equal to 211 therefore the mean daily expenditure is 211